hard to just them. They're not nervous at all. So I'd like to welcome everybody to our graduation for 2022. Um, we're very happy to be back here. We haven't been here actually since 2019 um, because of, for obvious reason, as you guys know. Um, and we'd like to begin our ceremony in the very traditional way. And we'll have our class of 2022 proceed in with pomp and circumstance. <laughs> of our national anthem. If I could ask everyone to please rise as we do the national anthem. Our flag is to my left. Again, it was our chamber orchestra. Um, that is, the, those are students from Pacific Academy. They practice every Saturday, led by Maestro Jorge. So let's give them another round of applause and thank you for their wonderful performance. Today. So, good afternoon, faculty, staff, families, friends, and of course, our seniors, the wonderful class of 2022. I'm delighted to be back here. It's been a few years. And our tradition and pleasure as a small school is to recognize each of our graduates. And I often think about principals at really big schools where they, they have over 2,000 students and how busy and overworked they certainly must be. And although I feel I am busy, I'm fortunate in that I can be busy with the business of students. I can get to know them, observe them, understand them, guide them. So it's a real pleasure for me. 
Today actually is an opportunity for me to say a few words about each of them. My comments are a mix of memories, some reflections and observations, and a little bit of advice. My comments will be truthful, and as some of you may know, sometimes the truth hurts. But it is truthful, and my apologies. But I think you will enjoy remembering them with me. So thank you for letting me do so. My words are to them, they've heard some of this before, and you guys can now hear them as well. We'll go off medically with double A, Ariel Bazzari. Ariel is one of five seniors who was here in middle school, and I have definite memories of you in eighth grade, Ario. I remember meeting your mother and father back in 2017. They talked about wanting to help to and find a school that gave you maybe a new start, a place that would see you with fresh eyes and would help you focus and maybe attend to some of your needs. And that first year you were young and it was a bit of a challenge. Academics were a little hard and you and tall Jack McCloskey, you could be a bit mischievous. But each year you did what you were supposed to do, grow. You became more mature, more self-aware, more motivated, more focused. You wanted to take more challenging classes, especially in social sciences where you thrive. It was a journey. In fact, I remember that to help you focus during exams, I would come and sometimes get you halfway through the exam and we'd take a walk around the school just to help you to refocus some more. But you always did your best. You excelled at Model UN. You got to be a pretty good darn ping pong player. You gave it your all in basketball, even when I thought the coach sometimes could be a little hard on you, maybe because he had such high expectations of you. But what I think about the most, Ario, is your honesty, your willingness to speak with me with candor, with respect, and sincerity. Whether it's been sharing your views on PA News or having personal conversations. I think it has not always been easy for you, Ario, but you knew yourself and took care of yourself. And I know you a lot of help from your teachers and your parents. But you have done a lot for yourself in these five years. Congratulations, Ario. Round of applause for Ario. Next is Charlotte, Charlotte Ding. Charlotte, I sometimes think I've fallen into this trap of seeing you through what I call Mount Everest eyes. Like others, I've been awed and amazed by something so few have done or ever could do. In fact, there were many times when I would introduce you to someone or talk about you to others and my pride and awe in your accomplishment was obvious. But Charlotte, it's important to see you not just at 30,000 feet, but to see you at five or six feet, to see you here in front of us because you are such a wonderful person to see and know. You have a sparkle in your eyes and a warmth in your smile that brings pleasure to those who are surrounding you. You couple that with a lovely sense of humor, a willingness to tease and be teased. Indeed, you may leave the class in detentions for lateness, but you own that and you did your duties pleasantly and without any complaint. Another quality, Charlotte, has been your determination. When you had to make up classes for missing school, you took on a withering schedule. But teachers like Ms. Kyle and Mr. V were always impressed by your grit and perseverance. I remember you telling me about your Everest experience, and you said there were times you wondered if you could make it. But of course you did, doing something the rest of us can only imagine. But it is your warmth, the ease that you make others feel, the comfort and affirmation you give with your eyes and smile that stand out for you. Those, Charlotte, are your true summits and peaks. Thank you, Charlotte. Next is Jason Fu. Jason. Jason, like Ario, started in the eighth grade as well. And although starting out in sheltered classes, he proved to be a conscientious and responsible student from the start. In your junior year, because you are so responsible, you made the most of taking online classes while you were in China, and that was no easy feat. You have always been take, able to take care of yourself. Yes, that's been a trademark of yours, Jason. Studious, responsible, amenable. It was Miss Laura Brown who interviewed you back in 2017. She said, quote, Jason seems like a nice, polite, and enthusiastic boy. He was nervous, but was not shy. He has a positive attitude and has a passion for helping others, end quote. You are on the quiet side, Jason, but always polite. It has been fun to watch you with your good friends over the years, uh, Jensen, uh, Rocky, Johnson, Mark Joe, Justin Lee, and many others. You've always shown a positive attitude, whether it was with outdoor ed, weekend activities, or our school parties. And we learn in different ways, including from our mistakes, Thank you for also realizing that, Jason, and being able to move on no matter what the circumstances. You push forward. I have this nice image of you recently. We were doing a Saturday hike in Laguna Canyon, and I think your Uber driver took you to the wrong place by accident. The rest of us went on the hike, leaving you behind, but Mr. Tran, he waited for you, 
and you literally ran parts of a mile or more of dusty hills in the hot sun, zigging along a narrow rocky trail to catch up with us. No complaints, you just wanted to be with everybody else. And we are glad you are, and we're glad you're so positive and helpful, and your attitude is great. Thank you, Jason. Next is Patrick Gow. Patrick came a little later, transferring from Irvine High School starting his 10th grade year. And I think you and your mother uh, felt that Irvine High may have been a little too big and a little less attention was given to students. You may recall that Ms. Angel Beckwith and Dr. Saito interviewed you. They noted that you seemed disciplined, but maybe in your previous school got a little lost in the crowd. Yes, you were on the quiet side and maybe a touch awkward or uncomfortable at times, but you were always stellar in the classroom. Like Jason, you are responsible and want to do your best. Aside from the many ex excellent academic achievements, it has been very rewarding to see you grow personally, Patrick, to become more confident, more outspoken, more of a leader, whether in sports, science Olympiad, or solar club. You became more of a presence among your peers, notable when you help others, such as when you assisted Nick with his physics or made creme brulee for the entire class the other day. So what a number of us saw, and as you grew more confident and self-assured these past years, was your dry, clever sense of humor and your witty banter as well. Thank you for all those wonderful qualities, Patrick. Congratulations. Angel. Angel's the most recent senior to join the class, starting the summer before her senior year. Transferring light in high school is a tough trail to tread. But with a smile, a positive outlook, Angel has done well in her classes, made good friends, and done wonderfully. Angel. I know I liked you and you were special when I learned you got yourself to school every day by bike and by bus. It was hot in the summer of 2021, but you didn't have a ride, and you took that journey each day, again, no complaints, you just did it. That summer you had English with Mr. Yeager, you may remember. It was your first class with us, and you did really well. In fact, I recall the class had to read the play A Raisin in the Sun. Mr. Yeager had the class perform a scene, and I don't recall the character you played, but fitting the play, you had to demonstrate some strong emotions, sadness, anxiety, desperation. I was truly impressed by how you tried to really capture the emotions, and it gave me more of a sense of your willingness to try new things, to be bold. More recently, you performed in a Shakespeare scene in Miss Corwin's class, and had to do at least four different characters in one scene, cleverly changing hats with, and your voice with each character. Angel, we've only had a year to get to know you, but it has been so well worth it. You are a quiet, kind, special person, and not to be overlooked. I know you no longer ride your bike to school these days, but we are very happy that you have peddled your way into our hearts. Thank you, Angel. In a perfect world, sitting next to Angel would be Kathy Hu, but unfortunately, Kathy had to travel with her mother and could not be here today, but I'll say a couple of words about it. I got to give Kathy a big hug um, before she left, and I told her I was proud of her. Kathy did have some tough times, and the early days of the pandemic and online learning did not go well. She seemed to be hidden within some darkness sometimes. But more importantly, we saw that this year, a Kathy who smiled, who was consistent, who was happy, a real highlight for me, was watching her direct and choreograph the quilt dance that a number of you guys, Paul and Charlotte, Jason, Angel, Stephen, participated in. So I'm sad Kathy's not here, but delighted that things have turned out so brightly for her. So a round of applause for Kathy. Next is Jack Huang. You will hear from Jack later, and you'll realize, as we have, that he's an impressive and serious young man. In fact, he was the first member of this class to be interviewed back in July of 2017 by Ms. Brown. Jack, you are steady, clever, and reliable. Back in the winter of 2019, I said that you are, quote, unfailingly polite and push yourself extremely hard to excel academically. I also said that, quote, although you are seemingly reserved, you step out of your comfort zone. For instance, you're willing to play and the Gujong for the school community, or taking part in our award-winning MUN team, and later in your senior year to become our ASB president. Indeed, Ms. Shu and Ms. Corin have appreciated your dedication and responsibility. Your achievements as a scholar of history have also been terrific and rewarding. In fact, Ms. Stroop and the History Department gave you History of the Student Year last year, in part because of your independent research and scholarly efforts, culminating in two articles that were published in a Journal of International Affairs. Pretty cool. Um, back in that first interview with Miss Brown back in the summer of 2017, you said you liked the movie Forrest Gump, a favorite of mine too. You said it taught you that if you try your best, you can achieve your dreams. 
like the eponymous main character of that movie, you too have gumption, initiative, resourcefulness to get where you want to go. So I've been touched by your consideration and generosity, both from you and your always supportive mother. I've told you you need not share so many thank yous and gifts, but you once humbly replied, no, I need to. And I took that as a great compliment, Jack. Well, my compliment is back to you, Jack. I also say thank you for your steadiness, leadership, reliability, humility, and friendship. Thank you. Next is Paul Ja. Paul is a smart, smart young man. Quite sharp, learns quickly, exceptional on tests. And Paul, we see your talent every day. We see your ability all the time. Paul, like some others in this class, such as Al and Lindsay and Aaron, transferred from public school. Maybe, Paul, you found public school a little too restrictive. But I guess you can say, Paul, that your journey at PA has had its trials and travails. I cannot say I fully understood it all. Sometimes I thought you were being stubborn. Other times I thought maybe the learning was easy for you and the formal work was maybe not something you felt strongly about. Or maybe it had to do with not wanting to be pushed by others. I was not, and I am not always sure, but I do hope those best academic parts are the ones that people will see in the future. I'm sure they will. But let me praise you as well, Paul. Aside from your smarts, I've been impressed by what seems to be an acceptance of responsibility. There are times I thought things could have turned into maybe a little bit of conflict with me or Ms. Hsu, but you often had perspective and ownership. Thank you. Another trait I definitely admire is your sense of humor and good cheer. You laugh easily and have a fun nature that shows interest in others and what is going on. I really enjoyed watching you play basketball. You have talent, wanted the team to do well, and demonstrated real leadership on the court. Coach Jean greatly appreciated your efforts, too. And I think you can stand up for what is right. In fact, I even felt that maybe there was some online chat outside of school, and you stood up where it was appropriate, and maybe you even defended me, Paul. Thank you. But all to say, Paul, you have a lot of great qualities, a lot of talents, and can probably do whatever you like. I imagine you'll be quite successful in the future, maybe an entrepreneur, and anything you want to do, you can. Congratulations. Normally sandwiched between Armida and Angela, but, excuse me, Paul and Angela would be Armida, but Armida cannot be here today. And I'll just say a word about her. She is exceptionally smart, uh, an avid reader and writer, and sometimes maybe the full parts of academic work were not always her favorite thing. Um, and maybe even she felt a little frustrated by school sometimes. But I think Mr. Rudy, as her advisor, always had her best interest at heart, and he always tried to look out for you. And her parents and sister always looked out for her as well and been true supporters of her. Armida loves to read and lose herself in anime, write creatively. Um, I think she's going to do some creative writing. And even though she's a young woman of few words, I bet those words in writing will be great. I'm looking forward to reading them one day. So, Armida Kansar. <laughs> Next is Angela Lee. Brilliant. That is what comes to mind when I think of you, Angela. It literally means to shine, and that is what you do. It is true in a few ways. Academically, you are exceptional. As an artist, you are truly accomplished and amazing. And as a person, you can brighten a room. Indeed, you are the voted, you are voted prom queen, so you can do that. Your passion for piano takes a large part of your life. Hours of rehearsal and performances, and despite that, your dedication to your academics and the time it takes is amazing. It's also the time you take with friends and activities that have been so impressive. Your cheerful involvement in Make-A-Wish and other clubs has been great. I even remember when you, and I think it was Alexa and Jamie, did a dance performance for the talent show back in 2019. Even having you play volleyball this year with Antoine and others, that was a lot of fun to watch. Intellectually and artistically, you have a maturity and presence that are deep and developed, but you always have a smile and a willingness to laugh. And as much as I appreciate and admire your artistic ability and passion, it is how you go about it that awes me. You maintain humility and humor, are exceptionally kind, a perfectionist in the classroom, and you still seek to serve and help others. As I said, just brilliant, Angela. Thank you. <laughs> Next is uh, Antoine Leo. I have early memories and images of Antoine back in 2018 when we went to Big Bear for outdoor education, one of my favorite things. Antoine was new to PA. Your English was not that strong, but you were playful, fun, outgoing, even a little goofy. Antoine did every activity with verve and enthusiasm, low ropes challenges, high ropes climbing, hiking. You were having a blast, Antoine. 
Antoine, you went from a fun-loving freshman with mediocre English to a student who excelled in English and history classes, a true leader in clubs such as MUN and Solar Club. And you have a remarkable presence here at school, or at our school. You are a true PA citizen. Indeed, it is your inquisitiveness, your maturity, graciousness, responsibility, and abundant kindness and consideration that really stand out. I've heard Ms. Hsu and others sing your praises, having great respect for you as a person. Appropriately, you get to sit next to Angela, who was the prom queen, because you were the prom king. Thank you. I'm sorry if I make too many of those jokes for you. You probably don't recall this, but when Ms. Brown interviewed before coming to PA, she asked where you ranked in your class, and you told her maybe you weren't at the top. Maybe you were being modest, or maybe you didn't fully understand Ms. Brown's questions, but it's hard to imagine you not being at the top of anything, Antoine. Some might say that, in fact, you are the, the creme de la creme. Thank you, Antoine. <laughs> to my right, Lindsay Leo. Lindsay transferred from Beckman, also on the reserve side. Maybe you were looking for a little bit smaller setting. I recall that first year was kind of hard. You may have lacked some confidence, felt some anxiety in the classroom. I think it was Miss Chen who helped you a lot during that first year and helped give you some confidence. And I do recall in your sophomore year presentation you did in Miss Kennedy's class. It was on personal challenges and growth. And you spoke eloquently and sincerely about overcoming struggles and how it made you feel and what it meant to show others, including your mother, how you have grown. It was a brave, emotional presentation that took confidence and introspection. It helped me realize what a sensitive person you are, Lindsay. Also, thank you for bringing your sister to PA. It was funny when the two of you dressed up as characters from Squid Games, going so far as to make those funny little cookies that imitated the show. And speaking of costumes, it was wonderful to see you and your self-confidence in your recent performance of A Midsummer's Night's Dream, with you standing on a chair, dressed in costume, and assuredly reciting Shakespeare. It's great to imagine. It is a great image of your strength and your growth. I'm sorry, Lindsay, that I haven't seen more of your artwork. I know it is wonderful. I am sure it has depth and shows how you have grown as a person and as a student. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Next is Alistair. Alistair, you joined us amid the pandemic, which probably made it hard to feel connected. And this year in person also may have always been not the easiest for you. However, I feel it has been great that you are at school regularly. Um, that is good for you, and it's good for everyone, for all of us. Alistair is an extremely talented musician, and even plays bassoon professionally. But you've also distinguished yourself in the classroom, particularly in classes such as English Honors, French, and Journalism. In French, Dr. Centaur has been amazed by your sophisticated, accurate translations that preserve the art and intent of the author. I've also been impressed by your independence and ability to navigate, whether it be the long commute from Pasadena, or riding your bike and the bus to and from school. And these are not easy tasks for native Southern Californians. Also impressive and touching is your close relationship with your mother and the support that you two give each other. Alistair, I know you to be sensitive, reflective, and thoughtful. Being around many others may not always be your first preference, but we are glad to have you with us. Ms. Corwin in particular finds your sense of humor hilarious. And lastly, I know your post-PA path is less conventional and best of luck with your plans, for perhaps, I think, for a gap year, if that's what's in the cards, and with any other future endeavors, which probably includes Music Conservancy. Nice job, Alistair. <laughs> Next to Alistair is Peter Song. After a couple of years at Northwood High School, Peter joined PA. I've used the expression ups and downs a couple of times this afternoon, and I guess I can use that again here. There have been times when it has been tough to figure things out, Peter. It's been hard to know how to always get the best out of you, what you wanted and what was going on. Mr. Wen has been concerned, sometimes Ms. Marr befuddled. I've tried different approaches, patience, frustration, maybe even a lang anger, sometimes talking to your mom. But I do want to thank you, Peter. I want to thank you for at least recognizing some of what you have gone through. You did not lash back or become angry and defensive, which frankly are not unreasonable reactions. You remain calm, almost unflappable. Peter, when I and your teachers have seen you work, you are there, you are capable. I've referenced the recent Shakespeare performances a few times today, and yours was of note too. In fact, it was a real pleasure, Peter. You are ready with your lines, memorized, and you did a great job. Indeed, you have the ability to rally, to make up work quickly. Like driving a car, maybe you have the habit of going from zero to 60 pretty quickly. 
But I say be careful of those kinds of habits. Being consistent and steady is much better. Your mother and your teachers have tried their best to help and push you, and in the end, you know who must do all the figuring out, and I think you will do that. I know things will click, Peter, and you'll be able to connect with others, connect with school, and with whatever other healthy interest and passion you may have in your life. Good luck, Peter. Next is Nick, Nick Tran. Nick, you've been with us since ninth grade and always tried to challenge yourself academically. And I have to say that along with uh, Charlotte, you have demonstrated an ability to grit and grind your way through all your courses. I know you put in a lot of extra effort and a lot of extra time to be successful, and that's truly commendable and something that has impressed your teachers. We've had a few conversations over the years about what is best for you. You're open to listening to others, and I know that teachers like Dr. Jang have been influential to you. It is good to keep that open mind and then to pause and consider as you make future decisions. Indeed, teachers like Mr. V and Dr. Jang have noted that you can be an enthusiastic and eager learner, asking good questions and showing sincere interest. Even during online learning, you showed your passion and inquisitiveness in ways that was obvious to your teachers. Nice job. Thank you also for being respectable, for joining weekend events such as our hikes and community service on the beach and even some of our intramural competitions this year. Thank you for being strong when there have been, been, been times where you felt alone or uncertain. But I, don't think, but I do think that you have developed some great friends and relationships and have had some wonderful experiences. I know you will always, always work hard and strive to do your best, Nick, and that will make you successful. Congratulations, Nick. <laughs> End of the row there is Aaron, Aaron Wasker. Aaron, I'll go to my elevator one metaphor one more time, but in that metaphor, I'm just gonna focus on the up part because that is your direction. After a couple of maybe tough years at uni high and maybe some not always uh, great times at PA, you are on your way up as you should be. You have much going for you. You know, personable, intelligent, sensitive, reflective, mature. Ms. Fejo has been impressed by your ability in Spanish. And many folks at the PBL Fair were also impressed when you taught them about Spanish-speaking countries, whether in English or in Spanish. Ms. Conte has nothing but praise for your artwork, which also reflects your insightfulness and sensitivity. You are kind and thoughtful. I remember the time you walked by a PACP classroom that was full of little kids, and for some reason the teacher was not there, and you immediately stepped in to take care of them. I hope you are proud of yourself. You have stuck through, even when you, have made, when you might have felt like giving up or taking other paths in high school. Ms. Shu, your teachers, your parents, myself, are all very proud and happy for you. I've appreciated when you have reached out and even shared your own thanks to me and your teachers. It shows your maturity and kindness. But you probably have the best insight what works for you. So I implore you, pay attention to those insights and replicate them. We all go through difficult times, Aaron, and they are bound to happen again. But Aaron, you have shown you can manage the most challenging situations, and the only way up for you is up. Good luck, Aaron. Over here, Stephen, Stephen Wu. Stephen, you came in 2019 as a 10th grader, also I think from another private school. Turn around, 180 degrees, that's what I think of. That's what happened for you, Stephen. Your first couple of years were hard. I think you really struggled a little bit academically and sometimes emotionally. Your mother was very concerned. And I recall tears in my office one day, mostly from your mother, a few were from me. Those days were probably confusing to you. And if you felt sad or angry, depressed or withdrawn, again, anyone could understand that. But with the support of your mother, you found ways to help yourself. And it has been a real turnaround. Teachers noticed it during online learning your junior year. You were more organized, up to date, understood things better. And that was a hard year for everyone, but you stepped up. I like to remind myself of how cooperative and willing you were to work with. Like I said, resentment or anger are not unreasonable res are, are reasonable responses. And even when things weren't going well, you managed. You stayed positive. You took responsibility for your actions. You have had a range of emotions and experiences of PA, from feeling uncertain and maybe lost, to success and pangs of love. Indeed, your classroom accomplishments are a testament to perseverance and the ability to overcome obstacles. I enjoyed watching you take the lead with the PBL on the homelessness that you did in Mr. V's class. You were a leader amongst your classmates. I am proud of all of our seniors, but when I think of the paths that some of you trek and some of you had to take, I'm especially proud of you, Stephen. 
And I guess I would put, I think of Aaron, Kathy, Nick as well. I'm proud of you guys. You are a sweet, kind young man, Stephen, and I'm happy to see you. So happy. Nice job, Stephen. Hi, Alan. Alan Wu, another 10th grade transfer. Alan came from Northwood with his good friend, Paul. Like Paul, you are affable, friendly, willing to laugh and smile and put others at ease. You've battled through AP Physics. You're an excellent artist and always outgoing in classes. I remember something, you were, a daily, you were a, a daily leader in Mr. Yeager's summer class last summer. Certainly you have an outgoing personality that allows you to step up and stand out in class. Back in 2019, Ms. Beckwith interviewed you, and when she asked about a book you had read, you actually shared that you had read a book about Alexander Hamilton, the revolutionary figure. And you talk about this, you talked about this man overcoming difficult situations and going through tough conditions to become a better man. And I think that's a nice example and something that applies to you. You are smart, ambitious, and when confronted with a challenge or mistake, you own up to it to become a better man. Your friendships with your classmates are also wonderful to witness. I have nice images of you laughing and enjoying yourself with Paul and Charlotte and Jason and many others. So thank you, Alan, for your good nature, your politeness, your affability. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you, Alan. Uh, Jensen was the first member of this class that I interviewed, actually. We were the first one I met. It was back in July 2017. Your English was kind of so-so back then, but you could communicate pretty well. And I could tell you were a person who liked to communicate and to connect with others. When you interviewed for PA, you talked about being friendly and helping people. In fact, you said about yourself back then, quote, maybe I will do more to help people. I will arrange some classmates to talk about some questions, end quote. Indeed, that is how you spent your time at PA. You became an influential spark plug for PA News, which is a chance to, quote, talk to some classmates about questions. You work with PA, your work with PA News with Ms. Kennedy and now Mr. S has been invaluable. I know Ms. Kennedy looked to you as a true leader with PA News, as you gave it vision and shape. In fact, back in your ninth grade year, Ms. Kennedy said of you, quote, Jensen is usually shy and more reserved during class, but his role as a leader in PA News has pushed him out of his comfort zone. She described the weekly meetings you held with your classmates to discuss what worked well in the previous week's episode and to offer cr constructive criticism for things that they could improve. She said you did a great job of listening to others and getting others to listen to you. You've come a long way in five years. I remember subbing on occasion in Dr. Saito's ELD1 class. You were always outgoing and cheerful. Sometimes you seemed a little tired this year, but I still appreciate your positive outlook, your friendliness, and your warm and outgoing chattiness. Thank you, Jensen. Last but not least is Moxie Chow. I met Moxie actually just a few days after I met Jess, uh, Jensen back in 2017. And Moxie, as you are now, you are articulate, polite, well-spoken. Indeed, your voice has a depth and confidence that is distinct to me. I remember doing outdoor ed in Santa Barbara, or maybe it was Big Bear. I recall a conversation where we were looking at some farm animals and you talked about growing up in Thailand with your mother. Another great outdoor ed memory was the famous hot pot incident in Big Bear. So when we do outdoor ed, the rule is that you shouldn't bring any food because, you know, it might attract bugs or animals or make a mess. You know, so sometimes kids, maybe they sneak in some bag of chips or maybe they hide some cookies in their bag, but uh, not Moxie. No, she had bigger plans than that. Ms. Riddle, in fact, went over to Moxie's cabin and there found her with her friends clustered around a complete set of bowls, plates, cups, and a steaming, fragrant hot pot of noodles. They were enjoying a full meal which the teachers then got to enjoy later on. But more, ser more seriously, from that same trip, I remember a heartfelt moment when you talked publicly about both loneliness and friendship, and it was an emotional and brave time. You have always had an interest in art, Moxie, and it is wonderful that you continue to pursue that passion. Moxie, you've given value to PA, and you are valued by all of us. Thank you, Moxie. So uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 20 wonderful members of the class of 2022. And I want to thank you for indulging me this opportunity to reflect and remember them. In doing so, I, I do feel a little sadness sometimes, um, and also some regret that I didn't spend more time with you and learn even more about you. And I guess I could blame the pandemic, but I don't. I, I blame myself. 
But I'm grateful for these memories and the importance you play, not just for me, but also for your teachers, your staff members, your families, and of course, for each other. So thank you all. Thank you all very much. I would now like to introduce Ms. Kelly Chu. Ms. Kelly Chu, our inspirational CEO and founder, and she would like to make a few special presentations. Ms. Kelly. Good evening, students, parents, faculty, and guests. As the past few years have shown us, life can be full of challenges, but it can also be full of great joy and achievements. To me, it is this ability to triumph over adversity that defines the Pacific Academy Class of 2022. Through months of online learning and the pandemic-filled uncertainty, you were able to you were able to find the strength not only to complete your classes successfully, but also to be active in the school community. It certainly wasn't easy, but you prevailed. I'm so happy that all 20 students of the class of 2022 made it to the end of their high school journey with determination, courage, and resilience. You should all be very proud of yourself Congratulations. <laughs> Yet, your journey is not over. College can be now seen on the horizon. And while college admissions have become increasingly competitive, our seniors have once again displayed their talents and fortitude by receiving amazing results. The 20 graduates of the Pacific Academy Class of 2022 have gained admission to Stanford University, Columbia University, Northwestern University, Vanderbilt University, USC, UC Berkeley, UCLA, UC Irvine, UC San Diego, UC Davis, UC Santa Cruz, UCR, Pepperdine, Chapman, Northeastern, Purdue, U Washington of Seattle, Syracuse, Indiana University, the University of British Columbia, and the Simon Fraser University in Canada, and many other outstanding universities. Our talented students also got into some of the top conservatories and art colleges, including Juilliard, the New England Conservatory, Peabody, Oberlin, Parsons School of Design, FIT, Otis, Cal Arts, and the Nomen School of Visual Effects, Games, and Animation, among others. Your commitment to your studies and your pursuit of your passions have been recognized by college around the world. Your hard work has paid off. Your families and your PA family are very proud of you. Let's give a round of applause to the class of 2022 for their amazing achievements. Now, I'm honored to present some special awards to recognize these students for their talents and achievements in academics, leadership, and for their contribution to the Pacific Academy community. I would like to present three Pacific Academy Excellence Awards. The first award. I was one of the chaperones on our Model United Nations team 2020 trip to New York City for the NHS MUN competition. I was texting Mr. Copas when we were walking on the street. Sorry, I made a very bad example. Uh, uh, I, it was very embarrassing that um, I suddenly found our group was gone. Uh, gone. And uh, this student came back to find me. And for the rest of the trip, he always kept an eye on me or slowed down to wait for me. I felt very touched. And this young gentleman came to PA from France in ninth grade. He took ELD2 class and his math was behind in the first year. I still remember how he stayed after school to do homework and study until after 6 p.m. every day. In his second year, he wanted to take AP World History. I thought he was too ambitious. However, he did very well and got an A in AP World History. 
he continued to challenge himself by taking more AP classes in the 11th and the 12th grade. He went back to France during the pandemic when he had to stay up almost all night to take PA's synchronized online classes, but he still achieved an outstanding GPA. This student has an infectiously positive personality. No matter what he involved himself in, sports, Model United Nations, Solar Car Club, or ASB, he always participates with great enthusiasm and never hesitated to contribute his time and efforts. I have been the advisor of the Solar Car Club for two years. He did most of the welding tests and help other students learn how to use the tools. He always stayed to clean up. I chatted with some of our staff the other day. We all wished we could keep him at PA for one more year. <laughs> but we are very excited for him that he will be attending USC as an economics major. Anton Lu, this excellence award is to honor your perseverance and outstanding citizenship. Thank you for your positive influence and contribution to Pacific Academy. Congratulations. Work. The student transferred to PA in 10th grade because her dream was to summit Mount Everest. I didn't realize how difficult that was until I googled and discovered there were over 200 bodies still lying on Mount Everest. She missed five months of school for training and climbing and finally set the world record on May 28, 2020 as the youngest person in the world to summit Mount Everest from the north side. I accompanied, I accompanied her to several media interviews and was even more amazed by her courage and spirit when I learned the details about how she almost lost her fingers and how she struggled not to give up on the mountain. I thought, is this, there anything this girl cannot do? She used to she used the same determination to catch up on her way behind homework. She had to complete the full semester classes in the summer. She even managed to finish two math classes so she could advance her math to AP Calculus. Our math department gave her the Math Student of the Year Award for her hard work and perseverance. She extended her love for nature and started an environmental explorer club at PA. She took our students, teachers, and the parents hiking to pick up trash on Saturdays. She established a nonprofit organization, Love and a Miracle, to help the disadvantaged children living in the mountain areas. This fall, she will be attending USC as a sports management major. Shaladin, this excellence award is to honor your amazing explorer spirit and perseverance, and congratulations Thank you for inspiring us. student was very introverted and not very confident when he transferred to PA in 10th grade. He was very strong academically, getting A's in all classes, especially shining in math and science subjects. However, he did not participate in any clubs in the first year. I scheduled a few meetings with him and found out he was interested in biomedical engineering. I encouraged him to join the clubs that were related to his interests and tried to pursue leadership in the junior and the senior years. He followed my advice and did a wonderful job. He became president of Math Club, VP of Solar Club Club, treasurer of Science Olympia Club, 
and an active member of Model United Nations. I arranged for him to do research with a biomedical engineering professor at UC Riverside. He did it diligently for two years. I had the chance to observe him in our Solar Cup Club weekly meeting. I noticed this shy boy gradually changed. I saw him smile more and he talked more. He became more and more confident and after he got accepted by UCLA as a prospective biology major, his mother, uh, his mother told me he has become a completely different person. I was very inspired to see how a student can be transformed by finding his, finding his passion by, and uh, by having his hard work recognized and appreciated. Patrick Gong, this excellence award is to honor your academic achievement. Congratulate, congratulations and thank you for being a great example of Pacific Academy's philosophy, the opportunity to be me. I want to present Pacific Academy's most distinguished award, the Ivy Cup. This award is given to PA students who have achieved academic excellence, demonstrated exceptional citizenship and leadership, developed their talents to the extreme, and gained admission to the most prestigious universities. From 2015 to 2021, the 11 Pacific Academy Ivy Cup recipients have gone on to attend UPenn, Columbia, Stanford, Duke, Julia, Johns Hopkins, Brown University, and Dartmouth College. I will be presenting the Ivy Cup to two extraordinary students from the class of 2022. Our first student, this student is very shy and does not talk much, but when you watch her play piano, you will be amazed by how her powerful performance can touch people's hearts. She first started to win international piano competitions in 2013. Because she practices three to four hours daily and needs more time to rehearse and to travel when joining competitions, she transferred from OSHA to PA in 10th grade. With PA's support, she won many state and international piano competitions. She was the 2019 state solo winner for California State Piano Competition. She received first prize for the 2020 Piano League Piano Star International Competition in a professional group and won an 80,000 scholarship. She was also selected for the 2021 Young Artist Guild, the highest recognition of the Certificate of Merit program, and received a five-year performance contract with the Merit uh, Music Teacher Association of California. Even with her super busy piano schedule, she was able to complete 10 AP and four weighted honors classes and received straight A's. Her 10th and 11th grade GPA average is 4.95. She also managed her time to contribute to the school and the community. She's the president of Make-A-Wish Club, National Honor Society Club, and the Student Ambassador Club. She performed at the PA Foundation Benefit Concert multiple times to support talented students with financial hardship. With all her incredible talents and achievements, she's very humble and personable. No wonder she was voted the prom queen by her peers. Her outstanding achievements in piano, academics, and leadership got her into many prestigious universities and conservatories including Stanford, Columbia, Northwestern, Julia, and the New England Conservatory. She will be attending Stanford University in the fall. Angela Lee, our class of 2022 salutatorian, this Ivy Cup is given in recognition of your extraordinary music talent and academic achievements. Thank you for all the pride you have brought to Pacific Academy. The next 
Ivy Cup recipient. He came to PA from China when he was in eighth grade. I still remember when he told me he was very interested in history and was not very strong in math and science. I told him, wow, you have to work super hard to improve your English. He did. I was amazed at how fast his English had improved and he made, uh, when he made his eighth grade promotion speech. With his passion for history, he published two historical research papers in the International Affairs Forum 2021. He also challenged himself by completing eight AP and five weighted honors classes and became, becomes the valedictorian of the class of 2022. This student was not afraid to push himself beyond his comfort zone. I was very impressed that he joined the Model United Nations team in his first year and participated in competitions. He was there when our team won third place out of 300 high school in a 2019 NHS competi uh, MUM competition. He became a respected school leader and was elected the ASB president in his senior year. I'm very proud that he's attending Vanderbilt University as a history major. Jack Huang, this Ivy Cup is to honor your amazing academic achievements, perseverance, and the leadership. I know not everyone found his or her passion or getting to a dream college. Don't be discouraged. Recently, four PA graduates got into Columbia, Brown, and Cornell University, and USC and NYU after they graduated from UC Irvine and UC Riverside. As long as you continue to try your best, the door of your dream college, or whatever you want to do, will, you will always have the opportunity. Pacific Academy Class of 2022, a new chapter of life is in front of you. I hope you all have meaningful and successful college experience. You will run into more challenges, but I have confidence that you will overcome these obstacles, obstacles with the same determination, courage, and resilience. Never stop pursuing your dream. I want to thank you for bringing so much honor to Pacific Academy. Your outstanding achievements have helped PA rank as the number three private school by niche for two consecutive years. I also want to thank you for all the joy and the wonderful memories you brought to your fellow PA students, teachers, and the staff. PA will not be the same without you and we will miss you. Please come back to visit us whenever you can. Remember, no matter where you are attending college or work in the world, Pacific Academy is forever your home, and I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2022, you did it. Thank you, Ms. Kelly, and congratulations to you all. Uh, we're now going to hear from a couple of our students. I would like to first present to Mr. Jack Wong, who is our valedictorian, who will give us a few words for you all and for his classmates. Jack. Good afternoon, teachers and staff, parents and guests, and class of 2022. My fellow graduates, I believe this moment will be one of the most memorable ones in your lives. First, I want to say thank you to the teachers and staff at PA for constantly supporting us from day one until now as we finish our high school careers. It is never only our efforts that makes dreams come true. Teachers and staff at PA provided us with tremendous assistance throughout the course of our high school years. I can never use simple words to describe your generosity, your kindness, and your responsibility. All I can do is to give a heartfelt shout out to all my teachers and to make sure support is paid off. I will surely improve myself in the future. 
second, I'll thank my parents. What you gave is a lot more than I can imagine. Thank you for your hard work to keep our home running, for your guidance, and for your encouragement. Thank you to my mom for being here, spending time with me to go through the most difficult times during the COVID-19 pandemic and college application season. Sorry to my dad, who had to be separated from me and my mom. I appreciate your sacrifice. Now it's time for me to return my mom back to you. Thank you for your day-by-day -day care and unlimited love. Finally, I'd like to thank all the seniors, the distinguished class of 2022. Despite the fact that we came from different backgrounds, having a relatively limited time to get to know each other, we had some wonderful times together for sure. What we shared is not limited to classes, but also outdoor education, online learning, community service, even being late for school and having detentions together. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nothing better demonstrates resilience than what we have gone through. Recollecting memories from the past four years, I have to admit, high school life is very stressful. You may remember that sometimes you were catching up with the homework assignments late at night, so your grade won't drop. You may remember COVID-19 swept across the entire country in the past two years, so we had to transition to online learning. You may remember that you were anxiously waiting in front of your computer screens to get a result and admission results from your dream colleges. The great degree of uncertainty periodically struck us down and we had no choice but to adapt. It is our tears, cheers, and sweat that make our journeys vivid and unrepeatable. As one of the graduating family, I will use this time to express my gratitude again to the bond we have that brings us together. Though I know we'll be going to different places, the bond, the brotherhood, and the friendship will live on. I believe many of you do have one similar feeling, just like I do. Time just flies away from us, and it never waits. It was in 2017 back then, when I came back from school, my mom came and asked me to pack all my stuff and be ready for the plane tomorrow. She said, we are moving to California. It was at hers, her opinion that brought me here to pursue the academy, everything as she wished. I was very reserved back then, even though many of you may perceive me as a type of person who breaks my comfort zone. I was worried and frustrated about everything here that was completely new to me, but more importantly, about myself. It was no exaggeration to say I didn't know much about myself. I was the person who followed others' instructions and guidance, wishes, with no resentment. But deep inside here, in my heart, I feel empty for not knowing what type of person I wanted to become, for not knowing how to be the person that I wanted to become. But thank God, it turns out to be different. Among my five-year experience at PSV Academy, I successfully changed myself into a person who has thoughts and self-awareness. By taking some challenging courses about history and economics, I gained my interest in particular to liberal arts and social science subjects. I discovered I located my favorite fields of study and started pursuing my dreams. Not only did my classes enable me to discover myself, but also many other important and valuable experiences. My devotion in a variety of clubs and leadership positions, such as the ESB, Model United Nations, Culture Club, and National Honor Society, all contributed to me as a citizen with greater responsibility. Ultimately, I'm happy to say that it is me who feels happy about myself. No longer are the people who set the standards with high expectations. Seniors, all of you discovered, pursued, and achieved your own self-actualizations just like what I did. I know some of you are experts in public speaking, engaged with politics and the most hot topics of our current world. I know some of you are fascinated with the world of nature, properties of matters, and energy. I know some of you can create beautiful melodies with your talented hands and skills. I know some of you may have been to the top of the world. Some of you are glad to have your own little world. Some of you can construct a painting within the shortest time limit I can hardly ever imagine. Some of you speak fluently in many different languages. Some of you are really professional PA journalists. Every single one of you has something unique. 
as a result of this diversity, I'm thankful to have the chance to develop companionship with all of you. Finally, let me share one of my favorite quotes from my favorite movie, Jurassic Park. <laughs> one main character, Dr. Ian Malcolm said, life will find a way. To us, it is to say that as class of 2022, with our resilience and hard work, we'll find our ways in the future. No matter in what field, no matter what obstacles and difficulties lay ahead on our way. Class of 2022, I know we all can make it. As we face whatever comes on our way and whatever the next stage in our lives, may we strive for excellence in academic pursuit and integrity. As we now transition into a joining and becoming the immersed owner of a Pacific Academy alumna, may we apply what we have acquired through our academic careers. Furthermore, may we invite more and more people that we encounter to a journey and opportunity to beat themselves. I long look forward to seeing the tangible impact that every single one of you will have in your personal sphere of influence. And maybe, as now, class of 2022, develop ourselves and contribute to history itself and foster the change for future generations. Thank you for letting me finish and share my thoughts. And congratulations again to all my classmates. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jack. Thank you for those strong words and those personal and cycle reflections as well for you and for your classmates. And then next, we'll hear from our salutatorian, Miss Angela Lee. Angela. Good evening and welcome, wonderful class of 2022, families, teachers, and staff. I'm so honored to be able to speak to everyone on this very exciting and special occasion. As our high school years come to an end, I would like to take a brief moment to look back and celebrate our triumph against all the trials and adversities we've been through. These past few years, we've endured endless spirals of Zoom meetings as we watch people fade in and out of existence with their green screen wallpapers. We've conquered long sleepless nights juggling college essays and response papers. But most importantly, all of us have withstood the test of time itself by pushing ourselves to take another step towards the finish line. This year, I've become fascinated with the idea of time and just how easily it slips through your fingers like a handful of sand. You can never get quite enough of it, especially when you're having fun, but sometimes you get absolutely sick of it. Not too long ago, I remember the words I said the most were, especially during online school, were, just let me graduate. I can't wait to graduate. <laughs> and here we are. We marched to the steady tune of time, and before we know it, we've already arrived at the end of the piece, and we're reaching for another music score to play. It's truly a surreal experience, and it's unfair that time is so selfish, always stealing from us the opportunities to savor the happiest moments, but also, <laughs> sorry, always stealing from us the opportunities to savor the happiest moments but also refusing to speed things up during the harshest of times. We've all experienced moments in which we wish we had more time to fully recognize and cherish the best parts of life, but sometimes we may struggle to even make it through just one long day. Of course, although we can never fully scrape the, full, um, the firm grasp of time, we can definitely try our best to make our time worth living. If there's one thing I've learned from life so far, it's that laughter and appreciation is everything. So whenever you feel like time has slowed down at the worst moments, I urge you to find happiness in anything and everything and cherish all that you have right now. Treasure even the smallest things that come your way. It could be admiring a pretty flower you saw on your way to school, singing along to your favorite song on the radio, or even noticing a smile someone gave you while walking down the hallway. Appreciating the little things in life and being able to find humor, when appropriate, in everything is how you can defy the harsh rule of time. And on the other hand, help someone else break free from the shackles of time. Aim a smile down the hallway, give out a compliment, and don't be afraid to make someone stay better. Any amount of kindness reverberates and is infinitely magnified. 
make someone's happiest moments last forever and darkest times pass by in a blink of an eye. On that note, I would like to mention and declare my gratitude for a few occasions in the past year that have felt timeless and enduring. I'll start with my English class. English has never been so chaotic and entertaining. I'll always remember the long hours we spent rehearsing for Arcadia and King Henry IV. And I want to thank Ms. Corin for always encouraging us to put our all into everything and holding everyone up to such high standards. To my stats class, I'll, I'll always be amazed at how Mr. Ben put up with our daily conversations about the most random topics and I'll forever be grateful for his patience and understanding. I think I'm, not, I'm now not only an expert in the central limit theorem, but also in the stock market and knowing whether people like Coca-Cola or Pepsi more. For my government and economics class, thank you so much to Mr. V for teaching us how to always keep an eye out for current events. I've become so much more informed and knowledgeable of the world around me, and I can't, finally, I can't wait to finally become a part of it. And of course, I can never thank my parents, Ms. Marr, Mr. Corpus, Ms. Kelly, and Dr. Margaret enough for always believing in me and sticking with me during such an unyielding and crucial time in my life. I truly can't emphasize enough how lucky I feel to be a part of the graduating class of 2022, and it really is a shame that right when we've spent so much time together and, lear and learned so much about each other, we must say our goodbyes and continue on our own path. I'm proud to say that I'll look back on these past years fondly, and I want to thank everyone here for making that possible. Class of 2022, congratulations. I hope that wherever life may lead you, or, or whichever path you may choose, you find every moment to be memorable and enduring. Thank you so much, everyone, and I wish the best of luck to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, wisdom about and thoughts about time and also some of your personal reflections about your experience at PA. That was great. So thank you, Jack and Angela. Um, we are now going to transition. We will now do the presentation of diplomas, seniors. Ario Abazari. One, two, smile, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, okay. <laughs> Charlotte Yu Chi Ding. One, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think I know what's going on now. <laughs> Jason Ching Yang Fu. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, smile. <laughs> Patrick Gow. One, two, three, one, two, smile. Okay. Did he smile? No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let's go. <laughs> it's a little bit of an inside joke, I think. Angel, Xi Ray Guo. Look here, and one, two, smile, one, two, three, four, five. Asparagus. <laughs> 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 Kathy, Kai Yue, Hu. Jack Guan Chao Huang. Red pepper, red pepper. <laughs> All right, 
One, two, three. One, two, smile. One, two, three, four, five. Paul, Guoyujia. I just got posted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Armita Kionars. <laughs> Angela Lee. Okay, look at here, look at here. And one, two, smile, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Antoine Leo Okay, look at here and one, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, big smile. Lindsay, Xin Yi Lu. Okay, one step to the and one, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Alistair Pickett. One step to the left. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Peter Ziping Song. One, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, three, one, two, take off the mask. <laughs> All right. And smile. And smile. <laughs> <laughs> and bigger smile. You can try, Wendy. All right. You need to be kick off. All right, good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Nick Tree Tran. One, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, three, four, five. Nothing good. Aaron Robert Washer. <laughs> and one, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, three, four, five. Best smile. Oh. <laughs> Steven Jian Wu. And one step to left. And then one, two, three, one, two, smile, one, two, sure. big smile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alan Zuo Xuan Wu. Alright, one, two, three, one, two, great smile already. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Jensen, Xin Yu, Yue. Smile, three, four, great. 
Show me your diploma. Great. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Smile. Great. Um, well, uh, thank you. That was actually one of the more uh, entertaining presentation of diplomas that I've ever done. I'll have the tea. Iron deficiency for the fourth. <laughs> Thank you, Moxie, for that confidence in your voice. Um, a little, I guess that's a bit of an inside joke. Um, I'm a man of uh, kind of uh, habits, and uh, I kind of do some of the same things. Some people might say I'm a little boring, but uh, these guys have often seen me eating my pre-made salad. On Sunday night, I'll make a bunch of salads for the week, and then I would uh, sit with them at lunch. I, I could clear a table pretty quickly. I'd sit down, five minutes of it was gone. <laughs> But, uh, but thank you. Uh, I, uh, I actually love and appreciate the gesture. So very, very clever, very clever class of 2022. So um, now, um, uh, seniors, uh, please, uh, to make sure that you are graduates, um, we are going to move your tassels. So please move them to the right, to the left, and we will now recognize you as the class graduates of 2022. Congratulations. Woo! The journey to May 27, 2022 has been exciting and hard. As I've said a few times, it's been full of challenges, ups, downs, mountains to climb, and more. You did a lot to get here, seniors, and for that, you deserve our unbridled credit. But you've all had others behind you and with you on this journey. Grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, homestay families, guardians, and of course, your loving, loving parents. Some have been far away, but they and all the people in your life have played an important role in that life of yours. So please, now it is your job to thank them for their tremendous efforts and all they've done. A round of applause for all the families. So congratulations to the lovely class of 2022, the lovely and healthy class of 2022. I appreciate your keeping my health in mind. Um, you've done an awesome job this year, and you are really impressive. Um, so this concludes our lovely ceremony, and I thank you for letting us talk so much about them and to celebrate them. I know it's a little bit different, a little bit unconventional, but that's how we like to do it. Again, being such a small, intimate school that really gets to know these young men and women and be a part of their lives. So that concludes our ceremony, and I thank you all for being a part of it. Um, this is a great moment, and so we have to capture all great moments so we can keep them as memories. They'll be in here, but we also want those pictures. So in that spirit, we're gonna do some photos, something we like to do, and we'll do some photos here of the graduates and the faculty, any faculty member that's here, I'm gonna need you to come up. Um, and then we're gonna go outside. There's another lovely spot where we're gonna do another round of pictures with our graduates, and then families, you can get some pictures with uh, your, your children and maybe some of their friends. So, my apologies for this kind of intercourse transition, but what we're going to do is... Yeah.